What's up guys, Wolf Fox and back with another video. Hope everybody had a great holiday, great Christmas, great Kwanzaa, great Hanukkah. Are some of those still going on? Anyway, I'm sure you got some money in your pocket. I'm sure you're ready to get back out there in the retail world and spend even more money, even though you just spent a ton of money on Christmas gifts for everybody else. If you recall the last video I made, it was the unboxing of the Apple AirPods. Now this video is gonna be a review of the headphones themselves and whether or not you should buy them. Are they worth your money? Are they worth your time? Those sorts of things. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna talk about the pros and then we're gonna talk about the cons of the headphones. And then from that standpoint, what outweighs what and should you buy or should you not buy? The first pro, portability. The case is super small. The headphones, even smaller. Um, it's easy to just to grab this, throw it in your pocket, be out the door, pop them in while you're walking to work, pop them in while you're just outside walking your dog, going for a walk, going for a run, working out, those sorts of things. Um, you don't have to worry about a cable getting in your way either. So it's super easy to take these with you. You don't have a big case that holds the headphones themselves. And then the headphones are tiny with no cable attached. So you can just throw them in your pocket, which I don't suggest you do. It's a quick way to lose them. Just keep the case on you. It's small, it's convenient. It's something that you, know, you won't notice that's really in your pocket. So big pro on Apple's part. I love that, I love the portability of the case. Second pro, they charge while they're in the case. So first thing you need to do is charge the case up. After that, you have more than 24 hours of battery life with the charging case. When the headphones are at full charge, they have about a five hour lifespan of battery life, then you need to pop them back in the case and charge them back up. What's even more amazing is that if you charge them for only 15 minutes within the case, you get three hours of battery life from just that single charge. So very fast charging, no cables really needed if you're at work, or if you're traveling somewhere and you need to charge your headphones, you just pop them in the case and they're charging instantly for you. And so that's a very big plus with these headphones. I remember having the power beats. Now with the power beats, if your battery died, you would have to plug the cord into the headphones themselves, let them charge, and then once they're done charging, you're able to listen to your music and get another solid couple hours worth of listening in. Now I don't know exactly how long you get with the power beats, but the video is not about the power beats, it's about the AirPods and whether or not not, they're worth it. Pro number three, very, very comfortable. All right, so I've used these to work out in, I use them walking to work, I use them listening at work, and it's gonna vary by person. So if you had the Apple EarPods that come with the standard iPhone packaging and you enjoyed those headphones, then these will fit exceptionally well for you and you'll enjoy them. But if you're in the camp that hates the Apple EarPods with the way they fit and they just fall out, those sorts of things, these aren't gonna be for you. So you, you can actually buy little silicone adapters for the end of the AirPod for each headphone, and that will give you a more secure fit. Uh, haven't tested that out, but if you really want these headphones, let's finish the video first, but if you really want these headphones and the AirPods never really securely fit into your ear, then that's something you may wanna look into buying along with the AirPods themselves. If you remember my last video, I did a shake test. Um, I shook my head up and down, side to side, pretty violently, and they didn't fall out. And so that's an important feature to have with these headphones because that was the one thing I was a little skeptical of, are these gonna be falling out of my ears regularly? And so far, I haven't had any issues of them falling out on their own. I've accidentally like touched my ear and one has popped out, but other than that, the headphones have pretty much securely fitted in my ear for the most part. Pro number four, pairing. So if you're an iPhone user, the pairing process is painless. You just pretty much open up your phone, open up the headphones as well, the AirPod case, and a screen will come up that says AirPods detected, and then you'll hit the connect button, and then boom, they're connected. Pro number five. So this is the last pro, and I really like this feature, and it's a gimmicky feature for sure, but I'm, I'm still, it's still pretty cool though. Uh, if you're listening to music and somebody comes up and talks to you, and actually this happened to me this morning. I was walking my dog and some lady was screaming at me. I just couldn't hear her. I had the music up pretty loud. But if they're talk, trying to talk to you, you take one headphone out, the music pauses or your podcast pauses or whatever you're listening to pauses um, and then you carry on your conversation or um, pay attention to whatever you need to for the meantime, pop it back in, music continues playing. Um, as if nothing happened. So that's a cool feature I really like that Apple implemented into these headphones. And now there's one thing I didn't mention in the pros section. 
that is sound quality. These sound just like the Apple EarPods, and that is our con number one. Number one downfall of the AirPods is that they sound exactly like EarPods, and that is upsetting. This is supposed to be a premium product from a premium company, and I'm paying for subpar sound. Um, you know, and maybe the price takes into consideration the convenience, but a little too much, I think. But that is a big issue with me and these headphones. So, con number two, the price. Playing on the fact that these don't sound that great, they cost the same amount as headphones that sound pretty dang good. And so the $160 price tag for these headphones don't match up with the sound quality. Um, the build quality is okay, they're plastic, they have a little bit of weight to them, but you gotta meet me at both ends with the sound quality and the build quality. You can't just give me a wireless version of the Apple EarPods and expect me to be happy. So con number three, this is more of like a pet peeve than anything else. It's not that big of an issue, but for me, I don't enjoy this feature as much as um, I think I should. So with the ear pods, you throw them in, they have this tap technology, so on each ear pod, you double tap on either one of the headphones. Um, it controls whether or not your phone will bring up Siri, play the music, pause the music, skip the next song, or go back to the previous song. The one feature I wish they implemented into that, I, I like the idea of it, but to change the volume of the song, you either have to double tap and talk to Siri, or you have to go to your phone and turn down the music, or if you have an Apple Watch, you can turn down the music from there. So I wish there was some way to integrate maybe swiping up and down to control the volume of the music or whatever you're listening to at the time. That would be very helpful, I think. Just be something we have to look forward to in uh, the second generation of Apple AirPods. All right, so my overall consensus for the Apple AirPods. If you have the money and you love Apple and you don't really care about sound quality, buy the Apple AirPods. They're for you. They were made for you. You love premium products from a premium company and you don't care about what it really has to offer. That may be a little harsh. I didn't really mean that. I mean, I, I enjoy using them. They're fine. They're fine. But I, I like good sound. But I like better sound, not just okay sound. So that's just something I can't really get past. If any of those things you're on the fence on, don't waste your money or your time. It's Christmas. Maybe you got some cash from grandma and she's telling you to treat yourself to something nice. Don't, don't waste grandma's money on these. Just don't do it. All right, see you guys. Hopefully this was helpful. Hit me up in the comments below if you have any questions or anything like that, and I'll be free to answer them for you. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share with your friends, your families, your frenemies, your enemies, your dog, your sister, your mom, your dad. It doesn't matter. Just get this out there. See you next time.